Hello there. Welcome to story time. My name is Phoebe the Fish, and I'm Otto the Octopus. And this week, our story time is going to take place in the ocean. So for this week, we're going to start with a song. And although it may sound familiar, we've changed some of the words to fit the ocean theme. So listen first and see if you recognize the tune. Take me out to the ocean, take me out to the sea. We'll see some sharks and some turtles too. Maybe a whale and a starfish or two. So let's swim, swim, swim underwater and find a creature that's new. For it's fun, fun, fun to explore in the ocean blue. Did that sound familiar? Have you heard that tune before? To me, that sounded a lot like take me out to the ball game. Exactly! But we changed some of the words to fit the ocean. This time, sing it with us. Take me out to the ocean, take me out to the sea. We'll see some sharks and some turtles too. Maybe a whale and a starfish or two. So let's swim, swim, swim underwater and find a creature that's new. For it's fun, fun, fun to explore in the ocean blue. Wow, thank you Phoebe and Otto for teaching us that great song. I had heard of Take Me Out to the Ball Game before, but I had never heard of that version. Maybe because I don't live in the ocean, but now that we're all warmed up and introduced to the topic, we are going to start with our first story. Our first book today is going to be Mabel, A Mermaid Fable. It is by Robo Watkins and published by Chronicle Books. So thank you to them for permission to read this. Mabel, A Mermaid Fable. What was weird about Mabel wasn't her mustache. Her dad had a mustache. Her mom had a mustache. Her big sisters had matching mustaches. Even her baby brother had a tiny baby mustache. He's got a big mustache. There's a curly mustache. Little mustache little matching mustache, and a teeny tiny baby mustache. What was weird about Mabel was that she had no mustache at all. I'm nude, she says. No mustache there. Mabel tried hiding her nose behind jaunty shells and by wearing seaweed falsies, but this only made her feel like a clown. She's got a shell on her nose, little fake seaweed mustache. Does she look like a clown? Nuda branch, says the puffer fish. Mabel had no idea what a nuda branch was, but if she was one, the only thing to do was hide. Can you see Mabel? Is she hiding? So she frittered away, who knows how long, hiding in holes along the ocean floor. She looks miserable. until Mabel realized she was not alone. Who are you? She asked. I'm lucky, said the giant eye. Who are you? 
I'm Mabel. Why are you here? Mabel asked. Because I only have seven legs. That sure sounds like a lot of legs. I'm supposed to have eight, said Lucky. What can you do with eight legs that you can't do with seven? Mabel asked. Count to eight, said Lucky. I can teach you to count to eight, said Mabel. There's Lucky, he looks like Otto. Lot of legs. Mabel actually helped Lucky count all the way up to 88. And Lucky sort of taught Mabel how to juggle. Great. Looks like she's doing well. Then they pretended to be king and queen of the corals. Shout at the pufferfish. Sorry, said Lucky. I leak when I'm scared. Look at that, there's ink, squid ink all over. That's okay, said Mabel. What's a nudibranch? Nudibranches are sea slugs, said Lucky. Oh, said Mabel. So that's why they're awful. They aren't awful, silly, said Lucky. Nuda branches are amazing. Look at all of these. Amazing. I'm amazing? Suddenly, Mabel realized everything she ever really needed was already right under her nose. I wonder what comes after 88. Let's find out. Isn't that nice? Mabel learned that she doesn't need a mustache, just like the rest of her family does, to be happy with herself. She was amazing as is. Now, our next story is called Goldfish Ghost. It is by Lemony Snicket and illustrated by Lisa Brown. It is published by Roaring Brook Press, so thank you to them for permission to read this story. Goldfish Ghost. Goldfish Ghost was born on the surface of the water in a bowl on the dresser in a boy's room. A lot of ocean type things in this room. Can you see stuff that's ocean type themed? There's a drawing of a fish. There's a lobster. This is a book about a whale. Picture of a lighthouse. A boat. More books about fish. For quite some time, he stared at the ceiling. The boy's room was pleasant and familiar, but there was nobody there to talk to. So Goldfish Ghost floated out of the bowl and drifted toward the window to find some company. Outside the window was a seaside town. It had a fishing pier, a row of shops, a sandy beach, and a lighthouse everyone said was haunted. At the pier was a great mess of birds who were all excited about the fishing boats. Scree! 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 It was interesting to hear them shriek, but they paid no attention to Goldfish Ghost. They were not good company. When the wind changed, the birds moved on, and Goldfish Ghost let the breeze take him into town. 
the streets were busy with an interesting looking people buying sweaters and postcards and pets and groceries, but everybody there was with somebody else. So no one was looking for company. Goldfish Ghost followed a rattly Jeep full of loud music and found himself at the beach. None of the bathers even gave him a glance. They're all too busy having fun at the beach, building sandcastles, swimming, painting even. But floating over the water were the ghosts of creatures who had lived in the sea. They were all very interesting, but goldfish ghosts did not feel quite at home on top of the ocean. Look at all of those ghosts. It can be hard to find the company you are looking for. There's goldfish ghost all alone. Goldfish Ghost rested atop a beach umbrella and wondered what to do. Eventually it got late, so he decided to head back to the bowl. It's getting darker. Another goldfish was there, but she was not a ghost. She seemed nice enough, but she was not good company. And the moon called Goldfish Ghost back out the window. I've been looking for company, said a voice. It was the ghost of the lighthouse keeper who had been watching him from the lantern room. Do you live here all alone? Asked goldfish ghost. Not anymore, the keeper said, and she took him in her quiet hands and placed him where the light had once shone for sailors at sea. The two ghosts settle in together, looking out quietly at the world. Look at that, he's shining so bright. They were very good company. The end. So now our Mabel is happy without a mustache and our friend Goldfish Ghost has found some good company. And I've heard that our friends Otto and Phoebe have another message to tell us. Blah, 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 blah. Hi again. I really liked those stories, but you know what? I've never seen a mermaid and I've never seen a ghost. There's a lot of things in the ocean that we don't see on land, but those two things? Yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe those are creatures that live in our imaginations. But do you wanna know some real facts about the ocean? I know I would. Did you know that the ocean contains some of the tallest mountains and the deepest trenches on earth. Let's stretch up really high, like the tallest mountains, and then really low, touch your toes, like the deepest trench. Reach up, 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 and then touch your toes, down, 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 down. Did you know we haven't explored all of the ocean. There's lots of weird creatures to discover. Let's try moving like a strange fish. Maybe a strange fish would go Let's pretend we're crawling on the ocean floor. Did you know the ocean is also 
always moving. If you look at the ocean, you'll see the tides. That is how the ocean is always moving. Let's move like the tides. Well, now that we're all tuckered out, let's get back to our last story. Welcome back. Now that we've got our wiggles out, we're ready to read our last story. This is called Ocean Meets Sky. It's by the Fan Brothers and it's published by Simon and Schuster. So thank you to them for permission to read this story. Ocean Meets Sky by the Fan Brothers. Finn lived by the sea, and the sea lived by him. It's a good day for sailing, his grandfather would have said. Finn remembered Grandpa's voice, telling him stories about a place far away where the ocean meets sky. His grandfather would have been 90 years old today. To honor him, Finn built a boat, a boat fit for a long journey, one they had planned together. Look at that boat, he built it himself. You recognize that? It looks like a flag, but it also looks like a t-shirt. And these kind of look like windows maybe? Boat building was hard work, and Finn took a short nap below deck. When he awoke, he felt the boat rocking gently beneath him. The journey had begun. Look at these, what do these look like? To me, they look like a bird, a whale, a boat, a pipe, an elephant, and an anchor. But you know what they also look like? They also look like clouds. Hmm. Seems like someone has an active imagination. I didn't think the open sea would feel so lonely, Finn said after some time. This caught the attention of a great golden fish. Do you know where the ocean meets sky? Finn asked the fish. It's high and low and as deep as the sea, the fish answered in a voice that made Finn's boat shake. It's up and down and very far. I can show you the way. He followed the golden fish to the library islands, where a hundred bookish birds were roosting. Look at all these bookish birds. Got some penguin birds, peacock, I don't know what that is, a toucan, and an owl. Then they explored an island of giant shells. Wow, just imagine the snails that would have lived in those. Huge! There's Finn, he's so small. Look at them continuing their travels. Ow. Oh. And crossed a sea of moon jellies dancing. Look at all these moon jellyfish. They're almost as big as that giant golden fish. But then Finn's eyes filled with wonder. Had he finally reached the place of his grandfather's stories? The magical place where ocean meets sky? Look at all these boats floating off 
into the sky. Boats and little air balloons all together. His boat began to lift from the water. Or had the water fallen away? Ooh, there he goes. Wow. Look at that. He's going up next to a whale. Maybe that's a blue whale. A blue whale is the biggest animal on earth. And you can tell from how small his boat looks compared to that whale. And look at all of these hot air balloons and zeppelins and fish and boats all mingling, flying up to the moon. Wow, it's getting crowded. There's some more whales, the jellyfish, a castle, a dragon. The golden fish swam towards the moon. Finn followed. He wanted to say goodbye up to the moon and look at that. The moon has the face of his grandfather. He had so many questions, but he heard a voice calling him from far away. Finn? Finn, wake up. It's time for dinner, said his mother. I made grandpa's dumplings. Finn looked out across the sea to that magical place far away where ocean meets sky. It had been a good day for sailing. The end. That was a pretty cool place a place where the ocean meets the sky and you can reconnect with loved ones. It just takes a little bit of imagination. So thank you for joining us for this week's story time. Tune in next week.